for this comic book review, I am doing Batman Kings of Fear issue one. So, uh, got Batman there. Now, I'll just go through it before I say anything about it. Uh, this one's Hunt the Scarecrow. So, you see right there, Hunt the Scarecrow. And you got a pretty cool promo for uh, DC, Mar or DC Universe movie, uh, Death of Superman. So, you got that in the back. Uh, Sometimes does he die? Uh, it starts off with this giant eyeball, and we can all tell that's a joker. You got the green eyelashes, you got the green eye, and uh, what are you afraid of? I'm assuming that's him talking. He's uh, looking through a hole, He's, uh, it looks like a crate. Now, I don't know what's going on, so I don't know if this ties into a previous comic, and it's just a continuing run, or what the deal is. And, um, see, chapter one, Split Decisions, King, Kings of Fear. Uh, by Scott Peterson and Kelly Jones. And he's talking to someone, obviously, in that crate. And he goes on. And he got a couple of people there. So that's what it's going to be, isn't it? I'm going to have to force you out into the open. I can live with that. So Joker is obviously talking to someone, and he's forcing them out in the open. Apparently, there's someone hiding. And boom, Joker slices someone's throat. What was this guy's name? Brain? I don't know what's going on. So like I said, I was confused in the beginning of this. So, turns out it was Batman who he was talking to. Batman leaps out, and he's beating up these guys. Kick to the face. Hey, kick to the face. Yeah. Kick to the face, punch to the face, back into the face. Batman's doing like three hits in one. Kind of like some Jet Li shenanigan there. Uh, and then the next page is not even worse. It's just him beating the crap out of everyone. Um, so, I don't know what the deal is with Joker killing that one dude. I thought this these were his henchmen, but maybe not. Uh, Batman's done beating them up, and then he's, uh, it's okay, you're going to be alright. And he's talking to the guy who just had his throat slashed open, and, um, see right there. Dude looks pretty dead to me, but, uh, who knows. And then, uh, Joker comes, and he tries to, I guess, stab Batman. I don't know, Batman catches him, like, flips him on his uh, head, and he has them, I guess, um, I'm assuming handcuffed or something, but they're going for a jaw ride. And Joker's just being a backseat driver and being annoying. Uh, well, you've been in a, in a more brooding, no, blah. Well, you've, you're even more broody than usual tonight. Tough day at the office, and this is Joker talking to Batman. He's pretty much bugging the crap out of Batman in the backseat. Um, advertisement. So... It gets to a point where he's just talking and talking and talking and talking. And then finally Batman's like, Joker, shut up. So he had enough of Joker talking. He's like up here with him. Um, if I was in a bad mood or having a bad day, okay, the last thing on my mind, or the last thing I want to deal with some idiot just not leaving me alone. So he told him to shut up. He's like, and uh, Joker's like, hit a nerve, did we? He's like, no, I'm just not in the mood. So... Batman's not in the mood to deal with uh, Joker's shenanigans and all that, so he takes him to what I want to say. More advertisement. Batman. Damn, damn. Well, they're driving to. I want to say. He gasses um, before he split the page. He gasses Joker to shut him up, knock him out. Uh, the next page was just an advertisement for Batman Damned. So if you're looking forward to that, it comes out in September. So it's a three issue, uh, three issue oversized stage format. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Did Batman finally kill Joker? Huh, interesting. Um, yeah, so he's, they're arriving to Arkham. So he's taking Joker to Arkham Asylum. You know, that asylum with all the villains that for some reason they're in there for a little while, then they escape or they get let go. I remember in the animated series, it felt like they'd go to jail, chill for a bit, then get let loose for good behavior. I'm like, man. How many times are these guys going to jail? I mean, you know what they do, but whatever. Uh, this lady's like, this is not acceptable. And then Joker's like, oh, please don't make me fill out all those forms in, uh, in triplicate again. You know how paperwork makes me uh, positively. And then um, turns out this lady's not talking, this doctor or lady or whoever she is, not talking to Joker. She's actually talking to Batman. So I'll deal with you later. I was speaking to him, the Batman. He's like, do you know the extent of the background checks I had to go through to work here? 
Yeah, you just walk. <clears throat> Those are my voice. Uh, I'm sorry. You just walked in here in and out of this place as though you own it. So she's not having it. She's pretty mad at, at um, Batman here for whatever reason. I don't know if she knows him personally uh, or what, but uh, he, was like, he was like, run now. So she's in the middle of bickering. Batman says, I'll run now. Something's up. So let the be. And let me see, status, uh, I don't know how he just, he, it's like, I don't care how, who, what, where. So he has a place, oh, what's going on here? Joker, well, all of them, they, they've got, you know, check the rest. So, all right, Joker and, the, and the, the rest of the villains there apparently broke out of their cells, which is weird. Okay, so let me take him. So he's just barely taking him, like, right off the bat, he escapes. That's my understanding here. Uh, so it's like, well, hello there. So nice of you to join us. This is what we call a fair fight. So you got Bane, Poison Ivy, Penguin, Joker, Two-Face, Mr. Freeze, and Killer Croc. All just, you know, ready just well on Batman. And Batman turns on. What? Damn it, turns off the light and starts well on everyone. Yeah, damn it, someone turned on the light. I tried, so they're not working. Well, I thank God. So he's just whipping on everyone in the dark. Because, you know, Batman can see in the dark, apparently. And, uh... So who lights the match? Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy lights up the match. They're all like, where is he? And he pops up. Who did he punch? He actually punched her? Oh, all right. He punches Poison Ivy, and it looks like Bane caught some of that, too. Actually, it looks like he threw one punch, and everybody got some of that. Dang. All right, so, boom. Everyone got whooped. Um, Bane beats up Poison Ivy. Kill the croc. Bane gets a backhand. Mr. Freeze gets his thing broken. Um, everyone's just getting whooped. And uh, he uses Mr. Freeze's arm and shoots that free stuff all over the place. Um, it's a pretty cool picture. I don't know why he's slouching there, but you got Batman slouching. And you see Poison Ivy's frozen up there, so it's Riddler, uh, Penguin, Joker, Freeze, Two-Face. Everyone's beat up. And he's like, what, let's just stop them. Uh, you, what, what did you do to them? He's like, stop them. No, you didn't. You beat them into submission. Yes, for now. But all you really did was van validate them. You simply showed them that their way works. Not very well, not very well, apparently, Doctor. It's like I'm glad you find this amusing, but you just proved that to them that violence is a legitimate, indeed, the only possible response to an unfortunate situation. Yeah, you know they were attacking him. So if I, if I was getting attacked personally, and I had to whoop someone, I would whoop someone, and I wouldn't sit there thinking, "Oh man, I should." Proof to them that violence is the way to everything. No, man, they're trying to hit me and uh, they're gonna get a whooping. Um, last thing on the line, you know, showing them anything. Uh, awesome escape, but the scarecrow, I'm sorry, Jonathan Crane. Um, what about him? He escaped and he's got a hostage. So Batman leaps out. There's like not so many words in this. Uh, leaps out, some does this weird little. I don't know, dash, split, across the, the Batmobile, I think. Wait, so what did I miss here? I thought he does that. And he lands here. Uh, Scarecrow's there, he says boo. Uh, sprays Batman in the face, apparently, with something. Uh, with that gas stuff that he likes to hit everyone with. It's like, and that's it. Batman's having a freak out. Uh, Scarecrow saying, I see you, and to be continued next, the Doctor is in. So, this will be the next episode, the next episode, yeah, the next episode. Uh, the next issue is going to be Scarecrow and Batman going at it. So, with that think of it, I was hella confused, to be honest, at the beginning. I don't, I don't know what was going on here. If it, like I said, I don't know if it was uh, a, continu -ish, a continuation from another series, another story, or 
what's going on? I don't know why Joker slit that dude's throat. It was his own henchman. Well, I guess actually, no, that makes sense. Uh, he's trying to lure Batman out. Whatever, he's still killing his dudes. Um, takes him to Asylum. I don't know why they're... It just pretty much feels like it's the animated series to an extent. So, and it was alright. Like, uh, like I said, uh, when I showed you guys this at the comic book uh, picks, I think it was last week. Pretty sure it was last week. I, I this was in the comic book picks. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna probably continue on and see how the next issue goes. And if I don't like it, I'll probably just continue. It's only six gonna be six issues it's a miniseries so kind of love the focus on these things there we go six issue miniseries so I'll probably just get all six just to have the the set but um I mean it was alright like I'm not I'm thinking more about it I don't think there was like a story before it it's just gonna be like okay it's just started off here and it's gonna end there so I will definitely check out the second issue and um, like I said I'll end, probably end up just getting all six issues reading them anyways so I mean it was alright it wasn't the greatest uh, did get my interest a little bit so I will continue with the on to the next issue and so on and so forth so that's my thoughts on uh, Batman Kings of Fear issue one if you read this and you want to give your thoughts on that go ahead and do so in the comments section and let us know what you think um, the art's pretty cool, right? I like the well, any anything with the Joker, I kind of like because every time I read anything with the Joker, I'm reading it with Mark Hamill voice in my head. And um, actually, I'm reading like when I read the Joker and when I read Batman, I was reading it with the voices by uh, Mark Hamill and Tom. I believe it's Tom's. I don't know his last name. The I'm reading it with the voices from the animated series, so. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's all I got for this comic book review. Like I said, you want to give your thoughts on that and share your, your opinion, go ahead and do so in the comment section. And that's all I got for you guys. So until the next video, until next comic book picks, reviews, um, whatever, uh, you guys have a good one. And until next time, bye.